So Hollywood, as they tend to do sometimes, the whole the, 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 the old Hollywood recycle machine, and you know, nothing, nothing gets used once these days, whether it be in movies or on television. Somebody gonna always pick it up and say, you know, this is a waste of a perfectly big ass red dog right here. <laughs> this is, you know, they 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 had the cartoon of Clifford the big red dog, and this time the internet is being completely, completely. F- they freaked the f- out when they saw that Clifford became a big live action red dog. Next year, get ready to love even big. No! <laughs> and people are like, what? What is that? Burn it. Destroy it. It's too big. It's too red. And it's a dog, you know, people, people, they, they lost their minds over this. I saw this and I didn't even think until you brought this up to me, Christian, I didn't know people were talking about this damn dog. You know, people are, are, are they're, they're a little, anything from weirded out to upset that someone in Hollywood saw the cartoon Clifford. They saw the books and said, you know what? I wonder what that would look like. In real life, to which the internet said, "Well, it looked pretty f- weird as a big ass red dog," and I'm like, "Well, wow, man! You know, we've seen so many things. <laughs> it, we just not too long ago. And we're gonna bring this up later. You know, it was uh, not too long ago. And people got upset about it, but people were happy to see a damn hedgehog run around in tennis shoes and sneakers collecting gold rings. You know, you guys were fine with not that one right there, but you guys are cool with that. But a uh, Big red dog. That's where we draw. That's where we draw the line. <laughs> Clifford can't have a movie. Um, I, I think there's know. a couple of things at play here. I think people are freaked out that well, it's clearly a puppy, right? So that's like that's not even its final form. That <laughs> puppy freak is going to get bigger, which is horrifying. Also, the shade of red is like reminiscent of like I don't know, like when you see old true crime stuff and they find like kids swimming in blood. That's yeah. what that looks like. That dog's been rolling around in a crime scene. Number three, my big issue is that it looks like they're doing the scale work from like Honey I Shrunk the Kids, which was revolutionary in '93, but maybe not so much in 2020 yeah. uh there's a lot of things to be mad about court no no you know what you you're you're right and i and just to say i have my reasons for not freaking out about this no you are exactly right that because i thought about that i said that is that is clearly a puppy unless they just want it to look cute and they try to pass it off as an adult but that is a puppy and you said it has not reached its final form so that motherfucker is going to be getting to the fight with godzilla and king kong by the time it's over right. <laughs> that's the crossover we've been waiting the, for that's the crossover maybe this is the prequel i am a little weirded out too because i mean yeah it looks like those like the, like those dogs that they experiment on for makeup and the experiment went horribly wrong <laughs> you know they like got red dye number 12 on a puppy and then it ended up being like a mutant giant dog <laughs> so so this is this is not like some cute ass you know kids film or book. This shit is turned into a fucking B movie science fiction horror you know pick cre- creature feature. And I so I, I get why people are weirded out about this. When you look at the cartoon, the cartoon is much different. And I'll be I'll tell you the truth. I'm the kind I tell you I'm the kind of person that looks at I look at things that should not be questioned. Like I'm looking at the cartoon version of Clifford the Big Red Dog, and I was all. Because I used to watch that, man. I'm not going to lie. I used to watch PBS children's shows all day. Like, I, I got a thing for, like, just colorful children's shows. It's quality entertainment. Qual- man, it is. It fits my mentality. I just sit up there and just not think. But, you know, but I watched Clifford, man, when I would be working on stuff during the middle of the day. I even remember the song and everything. I used to love this show, man. Clifford needed Emily. So she chose him for her own. Clifford to grow so big. Just crushes it. No, Cl- no Clifford, no! Do they ever get into the, the parents' uh, like response to the fucking dog getting so big? Because any normal parent would be like, we can't, we got to get rid of this fucking dog, honey. You know? Yeah. Their, their little girl's crying their eyes out. But it's like, that's a pragmatic decision. Fuck you, kid. Yeah. You see how big this dog is? Like, first of all, it's like, no, we got to get this motherfucker to the government. You know, I was like, that's why I was wondering, how come the government didn't come in E.T. style and like take this dog away to a lab and start dissecting his big mutant ass? You know, I, 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 I used to question that with the show. So maybe I just finally gave up. So when they got to the live action, I said, well, nobody, nobody gave a shit. So I don't care anymore. 
you know, cool. It's actually an interesting way. Maybe that's the point of the movie, right? Because like it, it's a live action film. That's something I think we should point out. It's not like yeah. a hybrid CGI thing, I, I believe. Um, so it's already a decision not to do CGI. They decided to do like a live action to scale thing. But it's like, <laughs> all right, because we saw that with Sonic the Hedgehog, which like, all right, redesign aside, ended up being yeah. pretty competent of a film. And they kind of went that they went geopolitical with it, which is just like, yeah, you want to do like a, a girl and her dog kind of movie. But like, <laughs> but with with the E.T. aspect, like you said, he's a freak. He's a giant yeah. dog. He's bigger than apartment buildings and shit. So like, how isn't it a movie about him being on the run, you know, like the Hulk or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I think that's the way it should be, man. I think if they could put put in a live action, and we see it's a real dog. I think like make it an evil Johnson and Johnson type corporation where they've been experimenting like like uh, uh, like uh, chemicals and, and and makeup on the dog, and the dog grew big and got away. And then grew bigger when he went to Emily's house, and now Emily has to protect it against the government because they want their fucking mutant dog back. You know, uh, I see. I think that like it should be a whole thing about a story about animal abuse, environmentalism, you know, uh, animal rights. I, that's what I would do. Like that uh, Okja movie. You, you see that Okja movie? Oh, the one, the giant pig or whatever? Yeah. yeah, giant pig movie. Do it just like that, right? It's like an anti-abuse yeah. uh, uh, thing. I don't know. Here's my other thing, and I say this all the time, and I don't want to like cast aspersions on anyone uh, on anyone who doesn't believe this, but you're wrong. Uh, if your dog or your cat was big enough, it would kill you. I just want to throw that out there. Like I no. think about that all the time. I'm like, my dog, if it had to, and it was like as big as Clifford, would eat me. Uh, so I would love to see the like that story where he's like a good pup who just gets too big and suddenly <laughs> yeah. he's like, I can kill everyone here. I have fucking jaws. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the shit turns into like Clifford the Big Red Monster. It's like a yeah, Godzilla the, film Clifford now. The Big Red Cujo. Yeah, yeah, sure. the big, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you know, we thought we could play God and, you know, create <laughs> great makeup for bitches and then end up creating up this dog right there. I, I disagree with you on that. My, no, this this is... Okay, people, we You're just... yourself. Pixie would eat you in a fucking New York Pixie would love me. Pixie yeah. would love me, God damn it. You're you don't know my dog. Bobby. Shut up. You, but wrong. <laughs> Shut up. You don't know my dog. <laughs> Listen, this is where... This is, this is how we prove that mentally... Dogs are better than cats. This is how we prove that cats are pure assholes. Because I do believe that if you if if you had a dog and the dog turned into a giant mutant red dog or whatever color, pick pick your color, the dog would probably recognize you. And the dog would be like, all right, you know what? That's I'm bigger than him, but that's that's still my that's still my man right there. That's still my owner right there. I gotta be cool. A cat would eat your ass in a minute. Cat was oh, yeah. a, a cat would play with you. Your cat, your cat would have your intestines hanging out while you're still alive, rolling around the floor, and then three hours later would finally snap your neck. That's what, and that, and that would be your cat. So let's put that to the. That's the, that's what I call the Clifford test. Now we just we just named it. Are dogs better than cats? Are cats better than dogs? Put it to the Clifford Clifford test. If your cat turned giant, would they eat you? Fuck them. I agree. I mean, look, we could sit here and talk about giant dogs eating people all day. I want to take it back to the film for a second, which is to say is this. I'm not as a uh, as freaked out by it as other people are. I think like especially without proper scale, like we don't know what that design looks like against buildings. We don't know what that design looks like against yeah. people in this film. So I think it's a little premature. But I'll say this because Sonic is the most uh, rel uh, you know recent example of a pretty fucking bad design.